didn't notice the shoes, you didn't use Chance the Rapper, I gave you some good quotes, <laughs> and you just ignored me. Coach, just first off, how good was it to see uh, Brazil out there today? And what are some of the like final steps in his rehab that you need to see from him before it's a full go? Well, I, you know, I, I mean, he played, uh, you know, 19 minutes, which coming into the game, you know, the thought process was uh, really between four, you know, and six minutes a half. So he went a little bit over what the plan coming into the game, but he felt good. He, you know, I think he knew he needed. Uh, the reps, we certainly felt like he needed the reps. We just don't go live that much. I mean, we're, um, you know, we practice a little bit more like a football team where we're in stations and drill work. Um, so he misses a little bit of live action based on how we go about practice. And, and uh, you know, he's still got a ways to go conditioning wise, but, um, you know, you saw the explosiveness on the dunk, which we've, seen and he was he was really good the other day and we went live in pro day and and uh, I think he's just a matter of getting his timing back and but he wanted to stay out there which is a great sign as well uh Khalif also returning tonight and uh sneakily led you guys in scoring I mean how how much of a boost is it to get that kind of efficient offensive game and do you want to see him maybe even be a little bit more aggressive than he was tonight yeah I mean I the thing that I was most impressed with our team especially in the first half I I, I thought our ball movement was was crazy good um, I know at halftime we had 101 passes I do not know what it ended up being um, but we'll find out here in a second as soon as they tally the numbers but great ball movement um, look KB is a guy that um, is is arguably one of the uh, country's best free throw shooters. Um, we, we saw a couple years ago how important a guy that can make foul shots in late games is for a team, especially with the amount of close games you have uh, in league play and close games that you'll have in the Bahamas. Um, so really important, um, you know, I, I mean, for a guy that has been out for a long time, which is, you know, has been out for quite some time, most of the summer, um, I thought he came in and, and shot the ball with great aggressiveness, and, and he's an explosive scorer. Coach, I know L was giving you guys some scoring punch there early. Then you, you look up at the end of the night, he's got four assists, no turnovers, four steals. I, I guess that's what you're looking for out of your point guard. L was phenomenal. Um, you know, <laughs> some of those guys that I've seen uh, through the red and white game, uh, through pro day, through practices, a guy like L, like his minutes are, you know, they were limited tonight just because, you know, he's he's going to be out there a lot for us. Um, you know, Devo obviously is 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 you know going to play more minutes than uh, than what what he did. But we're a deep. This is the deepest team we've had um, for sure. I thought that um, you know guys checked into the game. They they played the way they were supposed to play, and and we have some some explosive scores in 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 Davenport and and battle that can really score the ball and and L's playing the right way the way that we want him to play and and then we just you know we have two fierce competitors in team arc and and Devo um, on both sides of the ball and and um, you know so I some some really good things tonight we got to rebound the ball better for sure especially a week from from today and then it, you know your defensive end of the floor it, I know those guys are maybe a little bit overmatched there, but to hold anybody under 40, you know, they had one three-pointer and, and, you know, they turned it over 20 times. It's got to feel pretty good to set the tone on that end. Yeah, I mean, coming into the game, I mean, our, you know, we did personnel, but we did not do any scheme stuff. We didn't walk through any plays because we didn't know what plays they would run, quite frankly. Um, the whole game plan was no threes. So to look at the stat sheet and, and see that they went one of 20, um, great job, and, and uh, the one they hit, we'll look at and see why they hit it. Hey, Eric, I'm curious um, what you thought of Chandler Lawson defensively. It seemed like in that first half he was either getting a hand on a ball, steal, block, kind of you name it. Yeah, I thought Chandler was, you know, first of all, the three he made and took was what, you know, we need him and want him to, to do that with his feet set. Uh, but I thought great defensive activity. He he was a really good help defender for us uh, tonight in the post. Um, really happy with with the way that Chandler played and, and and rebounded the ball as well. Transition 16 to six advantage, but 
going back to that secondary transition, it seems like you were talking about the passing and the ball was moving before guys were back in set. I think Brazil's first bucket in this first half, everybody was inside the three line, yet they still weren't set and he got it off the glass. Can you talk about that ball movement when, before the defense ever gets set? Yeah, I mean, we've really worked on this uh, Milwaukee Bucks uh, flow game. We've spent a ton of time. We, did, you know, I didn't know really how it was going to work. We ran it two years ago, and then and then we gave up on it a little bit too early. And we went when we went back this summer and watched film. We were like, you know, why did we give up on this? Because it was it was pretty good on film. Um, it's what Milwaukee ran two years ago, not last year, but what they ran two years ago, and and. Um, our guys enjoy running it in practice, and I was really pleased with, with kind of how we played uh, outside of our normal half-court sets. And we have, we, have, we have so much to clean up in our half-court sets, um, but, but, you know, we, we still have a little bit of time. And then on Davenport, I think you guys started two of nine from three, hit a couple early. He comes in, I think he ends up three of five, and you all kind of caught fire from behind the arc. He, he showed that in red, white, and even that open part of practice. Please. Talk about him and his progression as that guy, maybe. Yeah, really, really quick release. Um, the guys look for him when he's in. I mean, he's a guy that's going to take a high volume of shots in in, in his minutes. Um, we need to try to find him in transition. We need to try to run some plays for him to to come off some screening actions. Um, yeah, but he's got incredible, confident shooting the ball, and got and has really, really deep range. Hey, Coach. I uh, wanted to ask about Bay Fall. I know he didn't have the most minutes out there, but uh, I was wondering what you saw from him out there in live action. Yeah, we thought it was important to get uh, Bay a start, um, you know, tonight. Obviously, you know, Kai Mitchell started basically every game last year, and obviously Devo Davis, um, you know, has been a starter for, for quite some time. And, you know, we brought those two guys off the bench tonight. Um, you know, TB is a guy that's been a pr predominantly starter for us. So we brought all three of those guys off the bench. I'm not sure what we will do um, Saturday against Purdue, what the lineup will be. But I thought Bay did a good job playing his minutes. I thought he was active as a shot blocker. He ran the floor hard. Um, you know, and he's he's just a young player who's got to continue to, to progress. And, and um, you know, but we wanted to give him an opportunity to start, which he which he got tonight. Eric, before I forget, what, what was up with, with Graham uh, not playing? Yeah, back spasms. Back spasms. Yep. So he had back spasms, was out about a week, practiced one day, and then it locked back up on him. Um, you know, I have no idea what it will look like. Uh, you would think in a week um, that he would that he would be able to, to be in uniform um, next week. And that's that would be the, the hope and the, th and the thought. And then I know it's an exhibition game, but you know, L Louisville had such a horrible year, and and they lost to a D two team. Yeah, they lost to a D two team, which we talked about today. You I can ask him. I understand you you guys showed video of the teams that lost, including Louisville. I mean, I know it's an exhibition game. What do you think it meant, what meant to L? You know, not after such a horrible experience last year, a year ago, to to you know start off well and play well tonight, and you guys to win big. Well, I think that L's excited to play with with. Uh, some surrounding pieces that he can um, show people um, his willingness to be a passer and a ball distributor and play more like a true point guard. And I think we've seen that since the day that he stepped on campus. Um, and he's, he's, you know, tonight he, you know, played, played with great pace, didn't turn it over. I was really happy with our lack of turnovers tonight. I mean, we had a, a limited number of turnovers, and three of them, I think, were moving screens. So you eliminate that part of our of our turnover game, and and um, you know, and and L, you know, did a great job taking care of the ball. And we, we know we know Khalees been, been out a fair amount. How goes again? I know it's an exhibition game against Tyler, but how good to see him come in and, and have some good minutes when he's been out some. Yeah, I thought he offensively really played his minutes well. Um, you know, he's got a quick release. He's got great confidence. You can isolate him a little bit. Um, which we did a couple times. Um, I mean, we got some guys that can shoot and and um, some explosiveness and, and some streakiness as well. Um, Davenport can, can get streaky hot and, and Joseph Pinion can get streaky hot and, and KB can get streaky hot. So we, 
we have some guys that um, we're going to have to tinker with on a nightly basis to try to see who we can who we can um, get a favorable matchup to where they can where they can get some clean looks from three. Those those guys in particular. Coach, I was wondering what you what you thought of the defense as a whole and kind of fouling and help defense as a whole. Yeah, I mean, obviously, um, second half when they were in the bonus, we've got to do a much better job of not using our hands. But um, we want to be a really ultra aggressive team. We want to be a team that has physicality, and I thought we did that. I, you know, I thought our guards were really physical. I think inside interior, we have to probably be a lot more physical than we showed tonight um, at the four and the five spot. Physicality's got to got to get a lot more aggressive, especially what we're looking. Um, at uh, a week from tonight. What a great challenge. What a great atmosphere it's going to be next, next Saturday, um, you know, against the number three team in the country coming in here with all those returners and, and uh, you know, the Big Ten champs with, which, with their whole roster back. It's going to be an incredible challenge this early in the year. You mentioned Pinion just a second ago. I think he missed his first three shots, then came out strong in the second half. Is that kind of what you want to see from him to to stay confident, even if he, they're not falling early? Yeah, I mean, I mean, right now, you know, Joseph has the green light, um, you know, to shoot um, when he feels he's open, and and, and KB does, and and um, you know, even T Mark. I mean, he he shot some some pull up jumpers. We were really aggressive shooting the ball from three. I mean, 34 threes attempted. Um, you know when when we probably could have could have gotten to the foul line at a at a much higher clip. Yeah, I was going to ask, is that a, a number you're okay with, or would you like to see more aggressiveness going to the basket, things like that? I mean, if the results are like this, Hutch, will you know it's not going to be like you know. So uh, we're going to have to mix it up a little bit more. I thought we were a little a little aggressive um, from beyond the arc. You brought up the Purdue game. I'm just like last year when you tested yourself at Texas in exhibition season, you started to see more of a rotation early in that game. I know the second half got a little out of hand, out of hand everybody played. Do you think – do you have a vision for a rotation coming into this game? Is it going to be a little tighter? And what did you see tonight that maybe helps form that that maybe you didn't know coming into tonight? Well, one, just the health of, of battle. You know, I think that, that um, you know, he looked fresh. He looked healthy. You know, we have no idea on Graham, obviously. So, I, I really, I, I, I don't know, Kevin, what – I don't know who's going to be healthy come next week because um, we have a week of, of physical practices. I mean, we're, we're going to have to really work on our post defense. We're going to really have to work on defending the three. Um, when you play someone in the Big Ten, I mean, that's as physical a league as there is. Um, but I'm, I'm excited. I, I mean – Regardless of results next week, it's going to be um, great for us, for sure, to play a team that's uh, – they're, they're going to come in here like a well-oiled machine because, I mean, there's – you know, they, they know their roles and uh, and they know who they are and they're really, really well coached. So it's quite the challenge, like I said, to think that – you know, but we need it. I mean, we got some tough games coming up right out of – Right out of the gate, and, and we got four games before we go to the Bahamas, and and then Duke, and so we got, we might as well challenge ourselves as quick as possible. Coach, uh, there's you got to set the rotation every year, but this season there's a little bit more depth. Maybe I mean, is that an enjoyable process for you? Something you stress about, just kind of assigning minutes uh, this early in the season? No, I'm not going to stress about you know the minutes, um, you know, because I mean I I'm in the weight room with them. You know, I'm, I run on the treadmill and I'm I'm at, with them every day at practice. And so, um, you know, I mean, there's guys, certain guys that have earned stuff. And, and um, but yeah, we're deeper for sure. And so if you're deeper, you know, you, 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 you can look at, we've studied rotations in Final Fours. We've studied NCAA tournament teams rotation. I've, Read four articles on on hockey rotations and line changes um, this morning. P guys were laughing at me on staff. They saw that I was reading an article on the Rangers because they know I'm a baseball fan, and I told them that it was the New York Rangers, not not the Texas Rangers. So, um, I mean, we're not going to sub like a hockey team, but at least I'm studying it. Thanks, coach. Appreciate Thanks. Appreciate it. Good meeting.